I am doing a giveaway. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below. Let me know that you have joined Flavor Squad. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my video. If you are already subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell. I see y'all. Y'all subscribe. Y'all ain't got the bell on. That's 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 not okay. So let's hit that bell. Let's subscribe before we get into this video. Okay. 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 All right, y'all. Before we get started, let me take my flake my fake glasses off so we can uh, so we can get into it. Get get into the lashes, sis. Get into the lashes. Mm. By the time y'all see this, the lashes should have dropped at Adorned by Our Niece on Instagram. I will be sure to tag her below again because these lashes popping, popping. Ooh. Okay, so today's video is all about confidence. Confidence is not something that you get overnight. I know some people think like. You should just be confident. I mean, why not? But it's hard to be confident. I know because I was not always as confident as I am now. So today we're going to get into 10 ways to be more confident in 2020. If you're a part of Feather Squad, we need your self-esteem to be up there. You know what I'm saying? Because it's something about everybody that makes you you that somebody loves. And you don't even need nobody to love it. As long as you love it, that's it. Period. So, my first tip for being confident is to be yourself. Listen, it's only one you in this world and God made you for some reason. It's something special about you at the end of the day. It's something that you have that no one else has. So you have to embrace that and be yourself. Why be somebody else? Why be another copy of somebody else? Why not be you and develop yourself? To be better instead of trying to be someone else you can't be that person you just can't because you don't know what that person got going on in their head what they're thinking you cannot be someone else you can only be yourself so that's the first tip is to be yourself Let's move on to number two number two is to date yourself now i'm not gonna lie i got i was late on the dating myself thing but if you date yourself, I just feel like when you go out alone, you just get to know yourself more. You learn a lot of things about yourself that you just didn't know. It can be things you don't like. It can be things you do like. But you just learn a lot about yourself. Dating yourself is a tip, okay? Take yourself out to the movies. Go try a new restaurant alone. Go to the park go shopping alone do anything just do it alone get to know yourself a little more and it'll also help you when people be like tell me about yourself listen you'll learn a lot you'll be able to answer that question because i know sometimes when people ask me tell me about yourself i'm like mm. but i promise you dating yourself and going out with just you will teach you a lot about yourself number three is dress up however whatever your style is dress up okay if you need to look good in order to feel good do that okay we used to in college my roommates and i we used to do this thing called get fine fridays where on fridays we would just dress up just because we ain't got nothing to do we just dressing up because that's what made us feel good and we're happy that the freaking week is over sometimes we'll be had a hard week and it's just like listen Tomorrow's gift our Friday and this week is gonna be over. So dress up. Make yourself feel good, whatever your style is. Period. You gotta be you. If you wanna wear baggy jeans, big t-shirt, and that makes you feel cute, well do it. Period. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise, okay? Number four is self-care. Everybody loves to do like this self-care Sunday thing, and I love it. That if that's what you need to do to make yourself feel confident, do it. Do you a little skin regimen, you know, do the whole nine yards. Just to make yourself feel good. If that's what you gotta do, do it. 
do it, sis. Self-care can be eating healthier, working out, reading more. Self-care can be whatever you think helps you take care of yourself. That's what self-care is. Getting your nails done, getting your hair done. If self-care is doing absolutely, positively nothing, then you do that. But self-care is very important. It's important to take care of your mental. It's important to take care of yourself physically and emotionally. Because if you can't take care of you, if you're not all right, it's no way, it's no way you can help anybody else. So you want to keep yourself first. Don't be selfish. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with being selfish. But don't be too selfish. But there's nothing wrong with putting yourself first. Number five is self-affirmations. Self-affirmations can be things such as, I am beautiful, I am strong, I can do this, I am capable, I am able. Telling yourself that every day can really boost your confidence. Especially if you don't have someone else around telling you those things, telling yourself those things every day can really boost your confidence because you know that you are those things. You know that you are beautiful. You know that you are able. You know that you are capable to do anything you set your mind to. And that can boost your confidence overall. I think accepting yourself overall is what helps with confidence, really. And that's what helps with developing those affirmations to tell yourself. You must first accept yourself for who you are. Like in middle school, high school, you know, for me, dark skin was not the thing. It was not the thing like it is now. Like people weren't praising us like they do now. It was jokes after jokes after jokes and it would make me feel bad because I'm like I mean I mean I, my confidence was low because I was dark skinned but I mean after I accepted my dark chocolate honey it was over for these bitches <laughs> after I accepted my dark skin that was it that's all I needed to do was accept it for me nobody else accepting it me accepting it and when I accepted it I embraced it and I was able to affirm those things for myself. I am beautiful because yes, I believe those things. So accepting yourself is a big deal when it comes to all of this. When it comes to confidence, accepting yourself is really number one. Number six is seek no validation. You don't need anybody to tell you what you already know. Like I said, you have to accept yourself. If you know you're beautiful, you don't need anybody to validate that you are beautiful. If you know that you work hard, you don't need anybody to validate that you work hard. Seek no validation from anyone. I know in this world, they're posting pictures and that's really what people are trying to do. They need to feel validated that they are beautiful. They need to feel validated that they are doing enough. But you have to do things for you. You have to post that picture for you. No matter if you get zero likes, if you get zero anything, you posting that picture for you. You don't need nobody to tell you you look good. You don't need nobody to tell you that outfit is lit. Do it for you. Because at the end of the day, everybody has something that they're dealing with. So how is this person who is dealing with, okay, let's say two people are dealing with low confidence, okay? You're posting that picture seeking validation from somebody else who is also dealing with low confidence. How is that person gonna validate you? They not even validating themselves. So you have to start with you. Validate yourself. Let yourself know that you are beautiful. Do that for yourself, not for anybody else. Number seven is to know your worth. Knowing your worth will really boost your confidence. Like if you know everybody can't touch you or everybody can't be in your space, knowing what you're worth is a great confidence booster. Like I know that it's just certain people I cannot Protecting your energy is just certain people you cannot have in your life anymore. Knowing that and being okay with that will really boost your confidence because I know that the people that's around me are top notch. For me, to me, they are top notch. They are the ones I can call on. They are the ones I can be vulnerable with. They are the ones who won't turn on me for anything. So knowing that will really boost your confidence. So make sure that the people you have around you are worthy of being around you. Make sure the things that you are are indulging in are things worth indulging in. Like say for instance, if you are constantly getting into drama, back and forth, drama, drama, 
you have to tell yourself like this isn't worth it i'm worth more than just drama i'm worth more than people being angry at me or me being angry all the time i'm worth more than it i'm worth more than sadness i'm worth more than hurt i'm worth more than pain you have to know your worth and you have to surround yourself with people situations that are worthy of you number eight is to be positive okay i know being positive is hard because listen sometimes i'm over here like i just don't know i just, mm, i don't know if i'm listen i know it's hard but you have to be positive because nothing is going to change overnight if you have low self-esteem right now if you have low confidence right now that's not going to change overnight Taking these tips is not gonna change that overnight, but it will help you develop better habits in order to keep yourself confident, okay? So you have to be positive. Being negative will bring on negative energy and negative things into your life. So you wanna be positive so that you can radiate positive energy and positive energy can come back to you. If that's in the form of a thing, a person, positive energy will come back to you and there's power in the tongue there's power in what you think so if you are constantly thinking negative if you are constantly thinking this is probably not going to work i don't know how this is going to work i don't know how i'm going to do this if you are constantly thinking like that and constantly speaking like that that's what's going to happen so you have to train yourself when you I, it's not going to happen overnight trust me because i still deal with it i'm still like I don't know if this is gonna work out. I don't know how this is gonna happen. I just don't know. I'm still like that. But you have to train your mind to shift. When you have negative thoughts, train your mind to shift to things that are positive. Switch that statement around. I don't know how this is gonna work out. Positive statement. I know this is gonna work out somehow. You just have to switch gears like that. Okay, so be positive. Number nine is do what makes you happy. Doing what makes you happy can really boost your confidence because now you're living for you. You're doing what makes you happy. You're not living for anybody else. You're not trying to impress anybody else. You're trying to do something that puts happiness and joy in your spirit. When you're doing what others expect you to do or you're doing what others want you to do, that will lower your confidence because that's not really who you are. That's not really what you want. But when you do what you want to do, baby, you will, you will just see your confidence boost because now you're doing what you're comfortable with. You're doing what you know you can do, and that's be you. And we have to stop living for, we have to stop living for our parents. We have to stop living for our friends. We have to stop living for our significant others. You have to start living for you at the end of the day because this is your life. Nobody else is going to live your life but you. So you have to do what makes you happy, what keeps you sane. Don't let people try to tell you what to do, how to live your life, because that's not going to make you happy, I promise. You're going to be sad. You might not be sad in the midst of that happening, but you're going to be sad eventually. Because you're going to figure, you're going to be like, wow, I've been living my life for somebody else. I've been living my life for other people for so long. Now I don't even know myself. I don't even know what makes me happy. So start now. Wherever you are, start now. Start now to live for you. Live to make yourself happy. Start now. I'm telling you, it's going to be the best decision you ever made. Trust me. I know. <laughs> Number 10, the most important of them all. If you do this, all the other stuff is going to come. You have to love yourself. If you love yourself, there's nothing nobody can take away from you. You're going to be confident that's it you're going to it's not going to just come you're going to be confident if you love yourself you're going to be able to take yourself out on dates you're going to be able to affirm things to yourself because you love yourself a lot of people don't love themselves and it's like we don't notice it we don't notice it until we really sit down think about it and actively try to love ourselves we don't notice it people let things come into their lives they let people do things to them I'm, I'm a victim of not loving myself. Because <laughs> I mean, if I would have loved myself, I probably would have not went through a lot of stuff that I've been through in life. I just feel like you have to love yourself in order to be positive, in order to date yourself, in order to be yourself, in order to participate in self-care. You have to love yourself because you have to be willing to take care of yourself. And if you don't love something, 
if you don't really truly wholeheartedly love something you're not going to be able to give that something your all so you have to love yourself so that you are able to give yourself all that it needs you are able to feed your mind you are able to feed your body you are able to feed your soul the things that it desires the things that it needs to flourish so love yourself period that's it that's all <laughs> okay 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 i know y'all been waiting for this we got our confidence tips we got what we need but we gotta discuss something for real just 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 me to y'all me to y'all me to the squad me to flavor squad we gotta discuss something okay we hit 1k we did it we did it that's on period because you know flavor squad is just like this so we can do stuff like that because we just we just do stuff like that because period okay so to thank you guys so much for subscribing to thank you guys so much for being engaging to thank you guys for just supporting me i am doing a giveaway so for this giveaway the rules are you have to like subscribe duh you have to hit the bell okay you have to comment down below hashtag flavor squad on this video if you do not comment down below hashtag flavor squad on this video you will not be entered into this giveaway okay you also have to make sure that you follow me on instagram at fashionisha okay that's all you have to do now let's get into what you're gonna get for this giveaway all right for this giveaway i'll try to put pictures of what you will receive over here so let me <laughs> scoot over so for this giveaway you're gonna receive a free dynamic t-shirt that's my brand you're gonna receive that before the launch or it might be during the lunch, I don't know. But you're gonna receive a free dynamic t-shirt. You will also receive a free dynamic hat to go along with it. And I'm gonna throw in a special goodie. You're gonna receive your very own music plaque of your choice. Whoever the winner is, I will DM you and message you about like what you want on your music plaque and stuff like that. So yes that's the giveaway you're gonna get a t-shirt a hat and a music play all you gotta do is like this video you gotta subscribe turn on your notification bell comment down below hashtag flavor squad that's the most important one and you also have to follow me on instagram that's it flavor squad i thank y'all so much for getting me to 1k once again we are only growing from here our next goal is we, we'll do we'll do we'll do it small right now we'll keep it small our next goal is 2k okay we'll keep it small for now so make sure you guys enter the giveaway make sure you guys like this video comment down below make sure you subscribe and do not leave without turning on your notification bell make sure you guys work on being confident okay confidence is key to anything that you do so make sure you guys work on being confident if you are not already if you are, keep going on your confidence journey. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming to my video. May your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here.